Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to bring you another exciting tutorial. So we're going to use this 2D image and turn it into a 3D model using AI. So I'm not talking about like a fake 3D models. I'm talking about the real 3D models with really high quality details and separated parts. So you can just put it right into 3D tools like Spli or Cinema 4D or Blender to make awesome 3D character like this. So let's get into it. So the AI tool that I'm going to use is something called Kadem. So you can find out more details at kadem3d.com. So basically Kadem is an AI platform that gives you the power to upload any 2D image and it will turn it into a 3D model. So just so you know, this is my first time trying it. So I'm not sure what to expect here, but it looks pretty cool uh, from this demo. So I'm going to sign up and get access to the platform so here we are in the main screen of the platform so at the home page we have a couple of demo projects for you to inspect the quality of the 3d models before using it so i'm going to click on the first project here to see what's inside uh, so basically it gives you the 3d preview of the output so let's click on this open editor to see more details so i can click here to show the inputs on the left corner is the 2d image input uh, i think overall it's looking pretty good like it captures every details of the 2d characters pretty precisely uh, so here you can even like click on showing the wireframe um, to inspect the quality of the models so yeah the white frames looking pretty good like i'm quite impressed of how it can capture every detail in this level of precision and you can also change the colors from this editors um, and doing a lot of other things but uh, for now uh, let's go back and check out the other three models so let's see this one uh, so for this three characters is looking a little bit less details comparing to the other ones So I would assume the reason is um, the input for this one was more like a, a flat illustration kind of style So it's provide a little bit less information about the shadows uh, the detail for the platform to generate I think that's enough. So let's uh, give it a try. So I'm going to go to the create tab and from here you can upload the uh, 2d image and you need to pay for the credit in order to uh, submit a um, request uh, so i think that's pre uh, pretty standard for most of the ai platform nowadays so i'm going to go back to the startup screen and purchase some credits so let's click on get started um, so they give you a bunch of options here uh, so for some reason that um, the trials option is not available, but we can also purchase some plans here. So I would select this plan, uh, one credit for $20, uh, because I think that's enough for a um, first try like this. Alright, so after purchasing one credit, I'm going back here to start uploading the 2D image. So let's drop it here and waiting for it to process a little bit. So now you see that it's being loaded to the platform and you need to uh, select uh, some of these output settings. So let's set the high to uh, 30 and select the standard quality because this is quite a simple uh, 3D model. And then let's hit generate and then it's going to add this to the queuing list and it's going to take a while to process. So uh, give it some time and we'll come back later when it's ready. Alright, so after one hour, we finally have the 3D model here. So overall, I think it's looking very good. Like it's almost identical to the 2D version. And the white frame is also looking really good as well. So overall, I'm happy with this. Uh, so next thing I wanted to do is to download this 3D model as a FBX or uh, OBJ format. And then import it into Spli to apply the material and make it look good. Alright, so here we are in Splice, so let's drag the file that we just downloaded into the scene. So you can select either the FBX or the OBJ format, so it's worth the same. Alright, so we have a 3D model here, so let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it better. So you can see that it's looking pretty good, and then we have all of the separated layers on the left, so we can play around with all of these individual parts of the models. Alright, so let's have some fun. So I'm going to select the bodies and then work on the main materials. So uh, let's start with some depth channels and play around with the colors. 
and let's make it smaller and move to the top so we can have a brighter colors at the top and the darker color at the bottom of the body uh, and then create another layers and for this one we're going to select fresno so we're going to create a smooth rim light effect for the photo material and then i'm going to uh, create a another layers and use image for this layers and we're going to generate some textures for the uh, the skin uh, so we use this AI feature to describe whatever like you want here to uh, use as a bitmap textures so this is what it generated so I think something like this would work uh, so let me just uh, go here and adjust the mapping setting to make it look more natural and then I can adjust the blending mode as well as the opacity to make it blend to the base colors layer and then let's apply the same process for the other part of the character so after finishing the material for the models i'm creating a new platform object for it to stand on and apply the same material technique with the depth channel to make a really nice gradient background like this And finally, let's fine tune the 3D models by adding some extra layer to make it look awesome. So I am going through this process really quickly because I already cover a lot of these techniques in the other spline tutorials in my channels. So make sure to check them out if you want to learn these techniques. Or you can download these project files from my Patreon. So uh, follow the link under the description as well to sign up for my Patreon and get access to this. So this is how the 3D character finally look like. So I think overall it's looking really good. So some of you might be wondering why do I have to pay $20 to get a 3D model? Why I can just do it myself? So the thing is not everyone is a 3D artist expert or willing to spend hours to model this 3D characters. And this is obviously just a demo so you can try it with a more complex 3D models if you're willing to spend more credit on it. So I believe that this will save you a lot of time and sweat and make your life so much easier. So this is the end of my tutorial today. So if you find this one helpful, click the like buttons or if you don't like this video, you don't have to do anything. So make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep updated with my new tutorial publishing every week. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.